Good afternoon all. Uh, made a mistake before I left my property. Uh, I looked at the uh, intro that I did for this video. And uh, yet again, some moron, hate to mention any names, forgot to turn on your sound. So, welcome. I've already done what I'm about to show you, and that is what was going on today. And that is I finally got the wheels for my bush hog, and I got the wheels on there. So it's close to ready to go, except somebody forgot to bring a grease gun. Uh, so, yet another day. Um, that's okay, there's nothing really to mow today. I was just going to hook it up. Make sure everything was running right. And I had it running before I took the wheels off, so I'm pretty sure it works. Old piece of junk that it is. It is an old rusty piece of junk. Pretty sure it's older than me. It's pretty old. So anyway, that's what's going on today when I get done. Uh, I'm going to have a little discussion today about uh, why I'm doing this and what I'm doing it for. Uh, I had some uh, comments and I'm going to respond a little bit. Well, I was going to hook this thing up, see how it worked, get it running. Uh, I have had it running before, before I decided to fix them tires. And I'm really not happy with the fact that these tires are rubbing a little bit, and they're going to rub. But it did before, it ain't going to hurt anything. It's going to mow. Anyway, just wanted to show they got the tires on, got everything done. Yeehaw! So, I got these cut out. Aren't those fantastic? Uh, those are going to be strips that go around the door to my outhouse. Uh, I got a pretty good sturdy outhouse, but there's a gap in the door about that wide, and I'm getting wasps in the outhouse. Not cool. I don't want wasps in my outhouse. Bad things can happen. Uh, I was going to build the other parts for my outhouse and I need to do some other things uh, and I was hoping to video some of that tomorrow. I'm going to do the strips because I had all the measurements. I've got all the measurements. They're written down somewhere. Don't ask me where. I have no idea. Can't find that. Uh, and then the other thing that I'm going to work on tomorrow since I'm not going to be doing the outhouse, uh, I got some pallets down there that I'm going to use for compost mins and I'm going to tear some of those apart, put them back together in a way that's more conducive to what I want in a compost bin. So that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. At least I think that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Never swear to anything. I used to say things like come hell or high water, but I got tired of cleaning up the water damage after the fire was out. Uh, 
I know, that's a stupid joke. Still got some truth to it. Uh, I said I was going to talk about uh, some comments that I've got. Uh, most of which, almost all of which, have been real positive. And for those of you giving me the positive com comments, I, I thank you a lot. Uh, thank you all for the persimmon pie recipes. Everybody who once gave me a persimmon pie recipe seems to think I'm supposed to bring them some persimmon pie. Yeah. I don't know whether it be any good or not. I've never had persimmon pie, so I don't know. I am going to make one or ten. I don't know. I got a lot of persimmons. So we'll see. Um, thank you. Thank you for those. And then I had one that kind of threw me a uh, comment. Uh, at least the guy had the decency to send it to me in a private message uh, as opposed to posting it on Facebook or something. So I do at least appreciate that. But I'm just going to read it. And I'm going to relate this to the homesteading thing. Right? Here's the comment I got on my video. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. Keep in mind, this is a friend of mine. Uh, I don't believe you are going anywhere with this. Just ask yourself why it's so important to you to put yourself out there when the audience is not there. You are important enough as you are without seeking all the public attention you seek. Let it go. Learn from other attempts to seek public recognition. Love you loads as you are. All right, that's where he starts. And then I replied, and then he replies back. Basically says, if I don't want an audience, then keep doing it, you know? Uh, his basic contention is, wow, you suck, you should quit. I started out uh, with the whole homesteading idea. And when I started out, of course, first thing people say is, well, there's really no money in that. Well, let's be honest. If I was wanting to be rich, I wouldn't have chose homesteading and farming. Uh, I live in Kentucky. I was raised uh, around and worked on tobacco farms uh, throughout my youth. That's what I did. I worked in tobacco. Uh, of course, that's gone. Price supports for tobacco is gone. Tobacco industry is gone. There's, tobacco just didn't want it used to be. Now, that's not a bad thing. Uh, <laughs> Tobacco is a nice evil drug uh, that'll kill you. So I'm not advocating for tobacco. I'm just saying that's what I did. And all those guys that I knew that were tobacco farmers have gone bankrupt. They're under. So everybody says, well, you can't be farming. It just doesn't pay. Well, if I was wanting to get rich, I wouldn't have chose homesteading. I'm doing it because it's what I love. It's what I feel led to do. When it comes to doing these videos, I... Uh, you know, it, it really does feel spirit-led to me. And I know that my videos aren't the best. Uh, I know that sometimes that I say things like, uh, um, but, well, you, you know, um, and it drives me nuts. I see that on a video and I just want to, ah, it drives me nuts. Uh, so I get it, you know, everything's not perfect. But you know, not too long ago, I, I said something in a video about a fellow named Joel Salison and a philosophy that he had that I found, I don't know, it's kind of stupid to say it's life-changing, but it was life-changing. Because I've been taught my whole life, if it, ain't, if it ain't worth doing right, it ain't worth doing. And Joel Salison said, if it ain't worth doing wrong, it ain't worth doing. And wow, I'm doing this wrong. I assure you I am. I'm learning. I'm going to get better. I am getting better. I've gotten a whole lot better. I don't say but near as often as I used to. Uh, I don't have as many pauses like that one right there. <laughs> Where it's just taking me time. And as far as audience, audience will come. I've heard all, you know, I've heard it before. I used to work at a historic site and I demonstrated in front of people. I demonstrated things like coopering. Uh, broom making, uh, a lot of carpentry, things like that. And I've had those professionals come in and they start saying, well, you got to use this formula and do it exactly like this. And my philosophy all, for me was always, we're just folks. You come into my shop, we're just folks. I've had them say, well, you have to look at your audience. And you know, they never would use the word color and they never would talk about race, but I've actually had them get really close to that. You know, it's like, well, if you got this group of people and they're from here, you have to put stuff. No, everybody on the planet is just folks. And I believe that. I don't care what color you are, just folks. And if I treat you like that, 
and I treat me like that, it's all good. Uh, I got to keep it all professional. It all has to be perfect. You know, I can just see myself sitting there, you know, all prim and proper with a bunch of chicks that have got, you know, I forget what they call it, butt rot. Well, you know, when you're wiping the chicken's anus, you need to take the rag and you do no, we're taking a rag, well, no, not the rag, take the towel and say, you know, we're taking a rag and we're wiping chick's butts. I mean, why you want to get all fancy about it? And I guess that's my way of saying, you know, I really do feel spirit-led. And I'm not trying to impress anybody about my great, marvelous farming skills or even my great marvelous wisdom. Sometimes I do share a little wisdom and sometimes it's stupid. Doesn't mean it's not true. And that's what I want this to be about. That's what I want to be doing. I feel good about this. And you know, if when I get done with all this stuff, one person decides that they want to go out and they want to farm in the right way, they want to homestead in the right way, they want to treat the earth in the right way to grow back uh, soil, to grow back, and, and to do it in a natural, conducive way. If one person decides to do that, I've accomplished what I want to do. If ten people decide they want to do that, I'm a blessed man. And I believe that. So no, I'm not expecting to change the world. Really not. And if you think this is all about my ego, hmm. <laughs> No, I'm going to show you how to screw up. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be really good at screwing up. I have no doubt that I'm going to be really good at screwing up. I'm not really trying to impress you with my ninja chicken master skills. <laughs> that's, that's a joke that some people will get and some people won't. Uh, doesn't mean I don't like the ninja chicken ninja master. I've used a lot of his stuff. I've used a lot of his ideas. Still, Ninja Chicken Master. Made me laugh. Uh, anyway, that's neither here nor there. It's just my way of saying that, really, I am. I'm just some old Kentucky homesteader. I hope we can learn something. I hope that by watching me, you learn something. Uh, and maybe what you learn is that we stupid. I don't want to do it that way. That's what you learn. Great. Figure out how to do it right. Message me. I'll try to do it your way. See how it works. Anyway, that's my little rant for today. And remember, my name is Mark. I'm just some old Kentucky homesteader. Uh, and I hope you have a very, very blessed day. <laughs>